An historic day, the Supreme Court, and a big victory for the president's health care law. In a 6-3 to three decision, the justices upheld subsidies for millions of Americans, regardless of which state they live in. Jay Corp joins us now live with a deeper look at the decision and reaction tonight. Jay? Jonathan, President Obama called this a good day for America. His opponents on this issue vowed to keep fighting what they call Obamacare. The U.S. Supreme Court, in a 6-3 ruling, upheld a landmark law that allows some 6.5 million low- to middle-income Americans to get subsidies for health care insurance, regardless of what state they live in. President Obama said this ruling ends discrimination for people who get sick. Today is a victory for hard-working Americans all across this country whose lives will continue to become more secure in a changing economy because of this law. The Affordable Care Act is here to stay. Opponents argue the law, as it was originally written, should only allow people living in states that had established health insurance exchanges to get those tax credits. A majority of justices disagreed, including Republican appointee Chief Justice John Roberts, who wrote the opinion for the majority. Obamacare, as opponents call it, is one of the hottest topics on the campaign trail for Republican presidential hopefuls. One candidate called the court's ruling judicial tyranny. Another saying the decision was lawlessness. Republican leaders on Capitol Hill are vowing to dismantle the law, which they've already tried to do more than 50 times. It's raising costs for American families. Uh, it's raising costs for small businesses. And uh, it's just fundamentally broken. As early as Friday, the justices are expected to rule on another landmark issue, same-sex marriage. They're looking at whether states have to recognize same-sex marriages performed legally in other states and whether certain states can outlaw same-sex marriage. Jonathan? All right, Jay, thanks very much.